All right, so we're trying to figure out how this matches up. And we have this function, z equals x minus y over 1 plus x squared plus y squared. We have to match it to the graph. The thing about these graphs is that many of them have a periodicity. Uh, C, E, uh, F, and A. Uh, C, E, F, and A are all periodic in, in some kind of way. It must have some kind of trig involved. And so, cross elimination, we have to take those out. And then let's look, let's look what happens if, uh, if X is Y. Uh, if x is y, the, the function is 0. Along the line y equals x, the function needs to be always 0. And it doesn't look like that's the case for b. Uh, another thing about it is, is that um, x and y go to, as x goes to infinity and y goes to infinity, as x and y both get big, the function should get small. The denominator is blowing up. And so um, z should go to 0 as x and y both get big. And so um, that does not happen with b. And so it must be d. And then that helps out tremendously having done that first. We don't have to go back and explain the same you know, periodicity issues that the uh, that the other one has. We can just go ahead and zoom, uh, focus on just connecting this graph to one of these um, contour curves and uh, uh, contour maps or contour plots, they call it here. That's okay. And uh, it definitely won't be, we have this distinct uh, peak and this distinct valley here. And none of these guys have that. And so here it is here. It's very steep in between. It's hard to tell by the small graph. And so it has to be V.